Mr. President and members of the Tribunal, an advocate can be confronted with few more formidable tasks than to select his closing arguments where there is a great disparity between his appropriate time and his available material. In eight months, a short time as state trials go, we have introduced evidence which has embraces as vast and varied a panorama of events as has ever been compressed within the framework of a litigation. It is impossible in summation to do more than outline with bold strokes the vitals of this trial's mad and melancholy record, which will live as the historical text of the 20th century's shame and depravity. It is common to think of our own time as standing at the apex of civilization from which the deficiencies of preceding ages may patronizingly be viewed in the light of what is assumed to be progress. The reality is that in the long perspective of history, the present century will not hold an enviable position unless its second half is to redeem its first. These two score years in this 20th century will be recorded in the Book of Years as one of the most bloody in all annals. This was the philosophy of the National Socialists. When for years they have deceived the world and masked falsehood with plausibilities, can anyone be surprised that they will continue the habits of a lifetime in this dock? Credibility is one of the main issues of this trial. Only those who have failed to learn the bitter lesson of the last decade can doubt that men who have always played on the unsuspecting credulity of generous opponents would not hesitate to do the same now. It is against such a background that these defendants now ask this tribunal to say that they are not guilty of planning, executing, or conspiring to commit this long list of crimes and wrongs. They stand before the record of this tribunal as blood-stained Gloucester stood by the body of his slain king. He begged of the widow, as they beg of you, say I slew them not. And the queen replied, then say they were not slain, but dead they are. If you were to say of these men that they are not guilty, it would be as true to say that there has been no war, that there are no slain, that there has been no crime. 